Lisa Kazanicki has been hard at work at this one for quite a while, and um, now her dream has truly come to fruition in being a published author, and we are just so excited for you. I am too. I can't believe it. I am so... <laughs> this poor lady has been at, working at this, and I know you said, oh my gosh, you know, I've got a deadline here, I've got a deadline there. Yeah, I complained a lot, didn't it's I? Like, <laughs> no, but it's been a labor of love for you, yes, truly. Definitely. Research and... It was really fun. Was? was it, yeah, it was a fun journey, the trip in and of itself, just writing it, so. <laughs> well, um, we'll get to more specifics in the book itself, but first I want to talk about some highlights that you thought were super important to mention, um, and, and those were a couple key places that we can get away with our girlfriends. Yes, there's a couple packages. What I thought was really fun were some of the cowgirl getaways, because that's kind of how I launched writing the book, is I got to go on one of these myself. Um, oh, really? Yeah, the one in Wickenburg, it's called Giddy Up Gals Getaway. And it's three days, two nights, all inclusive. You, you learn tack and writing, and you get this wonderful camaraderie with this group of, these groups of women. It's about 18 women uh -huh. per uh, getaway. So it is, it's a lot it of sounds, fun. Well, when you talk about a cowgirl, it sounds less pampering than maybe we would oh, want. Oh, it's totally pampering, because it's a resort. Okay. So, you know, everything's optional, too. So. Like they have a team pinning competition okay. where you actually pin, uh, you get on your horse and you steer a steer into this little pin. It sounds scary, but it was so much fun. I bet you were giggling the whole You're way. You're terrified and laughing hysterically, and it was really, really, really fun. So it's a rewarding thing, but then, yeah, there's a spa there. Trust me, I found a way to <laughs> get into the spa. It's exactly. such a cute place. It looks really relaxing too. What's this? Just kind of like a meditating. This is area? right behind the spa. So the the spa itself is a 1940s converted ranch house, and it's so cool. It's like got the Zen cowboy vibe. Very very cool. And this is just Very right outside the door. Combination. Mm -hmm. You have another place that you really wanted to, to profile. It's in this book, and it's also we've got some pictures to show our, our friends at home. Right, Alasal Guest Ranch in Solvang, California. It's around the Santa Barbara area. Really cool place. Really different. It's very pastoral, green, rolling hills, and there's a lake. And it's kind of the same thing. It's an all-inclusive getaway for women only. It's called Cowgirl uh, Boot Camp, and. It's just wonderful. You you ride, you learn how to lasso, because that's handy, I think. Um, <laughs> well, if your husband gets that line, maybe. <laughs> and they also have a brand new fitness center and spa there, too. So it's all, it, they're very relaxing, these, these getaways that are planned for women, because that's kind of what we need. Yeah. We need structure, but we also want some pampering. Now, these are specifically for girlfriends, or can you mm -hmm. take your spouse with you if, if Well, you... these are resorts, so you can mix it up any way you want, but they do all over the country. They have these girlfriend getaways already kind of prepackaged mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. what women have decided they want. Um, these just happen to be prepackaged, but yeah, you can go to this Rancho de los Caballeros as a couple and stay there and do horseback riding. It's just beautiful. Back to the book. A couple <laughs> things. Why did you decide to do this particular topic, and why did you decide to write a book? Well, it's a long story. Actually, I decided to write a book a long time ago and got a literary agent and did the whole traditional route, and it never sold. Oh. So they happened to come back to me because they liked that chiclet voice that I write in and said, do you want to do this? And I was like, yes. <laughs> so it wasn't something that I chose, but it kind of came at an interesting time in my life where I really needed my girlfriends. and. It was, it was a really cool And project. how much of the writing involved research? Lots and lots research. of research. Yeah. Research, I mean like hands-on no, no, research. No, no, no. You know, I want to say that I travel to every single location, but a lot of it's like a bucket list. This is stuff I want to do because okay. I approached it just like you would if you were planning a trip. Yeah. What hotels would we stay in? What diversions would we do? What, you know, and, but I just did it like... 80 times <laughs> for all the different destinations. What I love about it too is that it's very easy. I mean, you can go to a specific type of girlfriend getaway. Right. And I mean, hence the whole idiot guy. <laughs> but it's not for idiots just to just to be to clarify that because it's really just it's right to the point. Exactly. Yeah. None of the fluff, just, you know, a cute way of, that it's written, but at the same time, give me the information. I don't have time to exactly. do all the research myself. Why did you learn most about yourself as you wrote this book? Uh, that I need a vacation. <laughs> Desperately. <laughs> you know what I learned when writing this book is there's so much of the country that I haven't seen. Yeah. You know, it's a beautiful country and Canada is also included in it. There is a spa in every single corner of this 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 continent. So it's like I got a lot of traveling to do. Right, right, but right. I also learned that 
yeah, I can I can write under pressure because it was a really small time. Well, I love the it. fact that you just kind of set off. This wasn't really what you intended to do, and you came. And, and you were able to, to be published, and, and you're mm -hmm. there, and your name's like right there. <laughs> so excited for you, oh, so thanks. excited for you. I want everybody to pick up a copy of this. This is a great gift. Um, even at a bachelorette party, yeah. to remind your girlfriend, hey, you still gotta get away, at any age, this is a great gift, this is a great, great gift. Mother's Day is coming up yeah. too. Pick this up and make sure you take your, maybe maybe your mom, maybe she's your best girlfriend. Um, by the way, we want to let you know that Lisa's uh, tips for creating the perfect girlfriend getaway, um, along with information on where you can buy the book, are available on our website, abc15.com. You'll find it underneath the Living tab. And by the way, doesn't this book look awesome, audience? <laughs> right? Okay, well, everyone in the audience is getting a signed copy of The Complete Idiot's Guide to Girlfriend Getaways. So tell your girlfriends about it and make sure they get out and buy one.